Hey guys, uh, we're getting ready to do the show. I'd like to say hello to everybody. And uh, tonight's show is going to be interesting because we're going to talk about the lunar eclipse, uh, La Luna Sangre, uh, basically the, the Sangre Lune, which is Latin for the blood moon. And I know that um, whenever the blood moon happens, people freak out and they're saying, you know, um, that, you know, every time it's the end of the world or whatever. What's different about this one is it's going to be one of the longest we've seen in a thousand years, uh, three hours long. We're not going to see it again for probably another thousand. Um, but and this is why uh, this type of thing, when it happens like this, when it's rare, uh, it's the frost moon, first of all, frost full moon. Second, it's going to be a three hour eclipse, uh, blood red moon. And so this is ritualism and it's the what they call the triplicate. Uh, anomaly, or if we have the triplicate, it could go three, 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 and it, it goes back to that vision triplicity theory that we've had three hours of darkness in the nighttime, three hours of the dark night of the soul. What can be done in those three hours that would solidify a curse or solidify a ritual? That is what is interesting about this, is because rituals can be done during these eclipses and when they're done, they could be, well, um, as Shelby Downard put it, it could be the King Kill 33. Uh, it was uh, Michael Hoffman, when he was on the program, talked about the 33rd parallel, Kennedy being assassinated, RFK being assassinated, and how it was all done in a way that was for everybody to see. And that was called the King Kill 33 theory. And what it is is that, and, and Tracy Twyman and I have talked about this before, um, the idea was is that if a king or a leader or even a, a bishop, pope, or whatever that was charged to watch over a group of people, charged to watch over a flock, and if he fails in trying to protect them, if he fails in keeping uh, the kingdom, you know, uh, benefiting the kingdom, if he fails at that, what happens is, is he's ritually denounced, dismissed, or even killed uh, by the people or by they hire somebody to go in and take him down, take him out. Um, and it's kind of odd that we're in this situation right now where uh, the queen is, she's disappeared because she's sick. They're talking about Prince Charles being what is known as a bridging king to the son, to his son William, which is really kind of an interesting turn of affairs, especially if you're following the royals and their Anglo-Israelism. And then you have President Biden, who uh, a new research poll for was given to liberals actually said his approval rating would be about 36% and uh, Kamala's is about 28%. So they're already talking amongst themselves about how to either A, improve this whole situation or B, get rid of it. And, you know, I'm not going to cast aspersions of how they're going to do this, but there are many ways to get rid of a president other than killing him or other than, uh, re you know, they can remove him, they can use the 25th Amendment, they can use all kinds of things. So... That's what this blood moon represents. It represents the the disorder of a kingdom, the disorder uh, of conduct, the disorder of everything. And with all this disorder, something has to be done to even it out. And it's called the King Kill 33. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about that. We're going to have a witch come on the show, uh, the Graveyard Witch from British Columbia. And of course, Dr. Sky is going to come on and talk about where to see the Eclipse and how to see it. I don't know if we can see it here in the Pacific Northwest because we're hitting by rain, but if you do get a chance to see it, it's going to be one of the longest ones in a thousand years. So check it out tonight, Ground Zero, 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Check us out on TalkStreamLive.com or you can check us out on Aftermath.fm. And uh, we're on from 7 to 10 p.m. Monday through Friday. That's Pacific time. Um, and uh, also uh, you can join us for Aftermath.media. Aftermath.media is really awesome. Why? Because it is a library. It is a playground. It is a social media platform. It is all devoted to discussion and talk about what's important to you. Uh, not just me. I mean, I'm on there, yeah, and people want to hear my shows, and that's awesome because I, I think you know people subscribe because they want to hear Ground Zero at a more convenient time. But we have so many different shows, so many different personalities, so many different things that you can tune into from music to video to uh, you know, we have documents like uh, we have a vault of CIA documents, WikiLeaks documents. We have documents uh, from NASA, stuff that you can't find in other places. Uh, we've got old books and grimoires and, 
and uh, things like the Malus Maleficarum and other things where you can do your your occult studies or you can do your uh, paranormal studies. Things that certainly we add all the time. Robert Anton Wilson and Tracy Twyman and, and uh, you know Bill Cooper, William Cooper. Uh, uh, gosh, who else do we have in the library? Made Brussel. Mm-hmm. So that I mean, we got a bunch of people that are in our libraries. That you know, if you are a person that wants to study their work, it's there, and you can read it, and it's amazing. And and we're going to increase it every year. We increase more every month. We increase more if we find a document that we feel is important. We put that in there, and you can do your own research. People always say, "Well, Clyde, how do you get all your information?" Well, I have my own little. I mean, I basically dumped all of my documents, everything I had that I used for research, into that. Forum. And not only that, but we have all the old articles, the monologues, some of the old shows. You can go back in time and listen to some of the shows, the classic shows, the older shows from the 90s all the way to now. So sign up for Aftermath. It's, it's important you do it because not only does it help the show, but it's certainly uh, getting the eye and attention of a lot of people. In fact, we're looking into doing some TV work because people want to use the forum for TV work. So we'll have a TV network that's going to be 24-7. You can watch it on your t- on your computer if you want. Just a lot of great things going on. And we want you to be a part of it. We want you to be on the ground floor of this thing because a lot of people have been on it now for about two years. And they, they basically have uh, resubscribed and they've gotten other people to subscribe. And Christmas is coming. So you may want to get your friends and family involved. We have a $139 friends and family package. It's a year long. You and three other people can actually use it. And we have this yearly package, which is $79, where you can actually gift someone that package. So give the gift of Ground Zero this Christmas. We have a lot of things that you can, we even have merchandise, groundzeromerch.com. We're gonna have some posters. Posters I'm gonna sign and autograph for this year. They're gonna be done, uh, that you're gonna be able to have. Uh, we're gonna get that going. So there are a lot of things that you can get for your Ground Zero fan that you know wants a good Christmas present. We'll have that ready for you. So. Keep tuned in, keep listening, we'll tell you, give you details on how you can pick up on some of these goodies and sign up for aftermath.media. It's very important that you do that because I mean it's it's basically like what 25 cents a show, plus you get all the extras, all the little sprinkles on your Sunday. So check it out. We'll be on tonight, 7 to 10 p.m. Radio stations across the country. We're still live, we're still free, and we love you. Thank you for joining us. And we'll be we'll be, gosh, we've got about 15, 20 minutes. We'll be on the air. So see you then. <laughs>